I'm Rick Smith, and this is Labor History in Two. On this day in labor history, the year was 1945. That was the day that Paul Robeson received the Spingarn Medal from the NAACP. The award was given annually to the African American with the highest achievement. Robeson certainly fit that criteria. He was born in Princeton, New Jersey. He attended Rutgers University, where he was an athletic standout and valedictorian. He earned his law degree from Columbia. He was a successful singer, as well as stage and film actor. He was also an internationally recognized star, with singing engagements all around the world. Robeson strongly supported labor and working people. He was also an outspoken critic of U.S. colonialism. His stand for social justice made him a target of Senator Joe McCarthy during the hysteria of the Cold War Red Scare. Because of his alleged communist ties, in 1950, Robeson's passport was revoked. It took him eight years to get it reissued. During that time, he could not travel abroad to perform. The International Union of Mine, Mill, and Smelter Workers invited Robeson Robeson to sing at their Canadian convention in 1952. Since he could not travel, he sang over the telephone. The union then organized a concert on the Washington state Canadian border. Standing on a flatbed truck parked on the U.S. side of the border, Robeson gave a 45-minute performance to a crowd of 40,000 people. He started the concert by saying, quote, I stand here today under great stress because I dare, as do you, all of you, to fight for peace and and for a decent life for all men, women, and children. Labor History in Two brought to you by the Illinois Labor History Society and the Rick Smith Show. For more information, go to laborhistoryin2.com. What does he care if the world's got troubles? What does he care if the land ain't free?